Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the math uh, hands-on class with Python and uh, today we are going to see how we can solve initial value problems, second order linear ordinary differential questions using uh, Python. And uh, in general, the second line, I mean the linear second order differential equations with the independent variable x and the dependent variable y is defined as the, uh, the second derivative uh, is the subject of this uh, right hand side function. So it's a, a p of x uh, multiplied by y prime minus q of x y plus g of x. If the initial conditions y not uh, equal to I mean y of x not equal to y not and the y prime of x not equal to u not. So uh, in the second order linear differential questions, if uh, this g of x is zero, then the equations becomes homogeneous. Otherwise, it's inhomogeneous. And uh, this equation can be uh, written in shorthand as uh, second derivative of a function of a variable. Uh, sorry, this is, should be x. Uh, or the variable here is the independent variable. Uh, maybe this was supposed to be x. And here is y, and this is y prime. So uh, we have the uh, we have the example here, and we are going to use this uh, example in showing how we can solve the second order linear differential equations uh, using Python. So as you can see, we have the problem here, initial value problem, and the second order that is y prime prime plus y prime minus two y equal to x plus sine of 2x, where the y, uh, initial condition of y, or initial value of y, uh, when x is 0 is 1, and the y prime when x is 0 is equal to 0. So uh, in order to solve uh, this second order uh, linear differential equations, we need to transform the differential equation into a system of equation. And the, uh, to do that, we suppose uh, x1 equal to, uh, we represent the y, or the function y, and the uh, x2 uh, represent the y prime function. Then, if we take the derivative of x1, you have y prime, and the derivative of uh, x2, we have the y prime prime, and this one, we substitute from the original function by making y prime, uh, second derivative is a, is a subject of this uh, other uh, element. So you substitute here and now you have this system of equation here uh, where x1 prime equal to x2 and the x2 prime equal to 2x1 minus x2 plus x plus sine 2x. Also you can write it in a matrix form and you have some, something like this one. So uh, if you have this one, now you can transform this one uh, into uh, this kind of vector derivative of uh, uh, vector p with respect to x, where this p basically uh, represent the uh, two uh, variables x1 and x2. So uh, respective initial conditions, because we have transformed the equations uh, and now the variables are x1 and x2, we need also to have a respective initial condition. Now, in the initial conditions for x1 is going to be uh, equivalent to y at 0, which is 1, and uh, for x2 equal to y prime at 0, which is... Now, after uh, having this kind of transformation now, we are going to see how we can solve uh, this uh, uh, system of differential equations, which are first order now, into uh, Python. So let's start uh, writing our program uh, in Python by importing basic library, which is ODE int, and this is from uh, skipy integrate. Skipy dot integrate. Integrate. We import uh, ODE int. So we have the ODE int, also we need numpy. So we have to import numpy as np. And the, after that, let's define our function uh, with the vector p, uh, sorry, uh, d of 
vector p with respect to dx and this function is a function of parameter or vector p and the variable x so after defining our function uh, this function should return uh, the results uh, of the vector uh, or an array of uh, uh, two values x1 and x2 so I mean the two values for uh, first equation okay and second equation of the system of differential equations developed as you can see on your right uh, hand side of the screen so uh, starting with the equation one x1 prime uh, to the right hand side is there is x2 okay x2 is the second entry in uh, uh, vector p so we just uh, call that uh, element from vector p as uh, p1 remember in python the first column or the array or is basically start from uh, zero position uh, p of zero will represent the first entry p of one second p of two and this extra so uh, we have the first equation for our system of the differential equation the second equation is two times uh, x1 x1 is the first entry okay and uh, after that we subtract by uh, x2 x2 is the second entry and that is p of one and then we add uh, x and we add also uh, sine 2x remember sine 2x is a scientific function or mathematical function that we need the uh, np or numpy function to call it okay sine of 2 times x okay and we are done writing our two functions so we give the initial condition for uh, our function or our for our vector remember x1 its initial condition is correspond to 1 and x2 is 0 then after that lower boundary of x or integration limits we start from x0 uh, equal to 0 uh, and uh, upper boundary let's decide the upper boundary to integrate from x0 0 up to 10 okay so let's create the other coefficients in between uh, x values and uh, that is we're going to create an array of elements of x's from or using the range function not b but array range okay uh, that is lower boundary upper boundary with time steps of 0 0.01 and after that uh, we have x is uh, equal to we forgot to put equal sign okay that's so correct then we need the corresponding uh, coefficient for x1 and x2 and that is the elements of the vector p so p is, uh, is equal to uh, uh, ode int and we are going to integrate our function uh, with respect to dx okay where the initial condition for p uh, is is defined earlier and the x's will be taken from the next functions okay and uh, after that remember as i said earlier p uh, integration of this one will give you or will return uh, the two uh, values one for x1 uh, which represent x2 and the other is for x2 which represent the second derivative of a function as you can see on your right hand side and that means uh, to obtain the uh, solution now for y or for the second derivative okay for the second order differential equation is the second entry into our p uh, vector so to have the y's corresponding values of uh, 
our function, we just chop those uh, values of y from this vector p, okay? And those functions, I mean those values, uh, we take all rows in the second entry, okay? Because the second entry represent the uh, second, uh, this represent x2 dash, which uh, x2 dash equivalent to um, uh, second derivative of our, uh, our function, which is the second ordinary differential equations, which we are supposed to find its solution. So after having this, now we can go to simulate our solution using the uh, Matplot library. So we import, uh, we import Matplot. Let pi plot as PLT, and then let's uh, define the, the shape of our, our uh, output. Okay, the figure size should be 12 by 8. Let's assign those uh, dimension for our output. And then let's plot plt dot uh, plot and uh, sorry, this plt dot plot. We're going to plot x's against y's. Okay. And uh, we can add some labels, plt, um, plt dot x label, and uh, our x label, let's leave it as x, and uh, our y label, let's call it y is a function of x. So we are done. And now we are ready to run this program and see how we, we can uh, get the solution for the second order differential equation. Now, just click here to work and then wait for the output. And ta -da, this is the solution. So this is how you can solve your uh, second or any other higher order differential equations by basically uh, transforming or reducing, uh, I mean, transforming the function from a second order or reducing from second order to first order system of differential equation. And then it will be easily uh, for you to solve uh, using the uh, ODE int function.